I was recently asked, what do I think about the number of MS cases doubling in the United States? To hear my answer, don't turn away, because that starts right now. Howdy. Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I started this YouTube channel to help my own MS clinic patients learn between visits, and it's my hope that through these videos, I can help you learn too. I'm answering viewers' questions, and today's question comes from the Laney. Howdy, the Laney. Thank you for your question and for your participation on my live streams. I love seeing you participate in this growing global online community. Her question was, what do you think about the number of MS cases doubling in the U.S.? We used to use the statistic that there were roughly 400,000 people with MS in the United States. And that statistic came out in the late 1980s. There hasn't been a follow-up study until very recently, 2019. And when we went through the epidemiologic process of trying to calculate the current incidence of MS, it was almost 1 million. So what's the deal? A lot has changed since the 80s. Part of it is that we have a much better awareness about MS. People are much more uh, apt to be diagnosed more quickly, and people are more apt to share the fact that they have MS. And I do think that that is part of the equation. Also, there is actually a growing incidence of MS in the world, not just in the United States. And so the number of autoimmune cases of multiple sclerosis has increased. What do I think about this? Well, number one, I'm delighted to have the updated information. I'm delighted that we can be more accurate and we can impress upon people that this is not a rare condition. It's actually much more common than we expected. Why is that important? I think it brings a spotlight to the condition, which will in turn bring more monies for research and more efforts by clinicians and practitioners alike to do a better job of beating up this disease. It helps normalize and not stigmatize the condition. It's also my hope that moving forward, we as a community do a better job of tracking MS cases so that we have a better sense of these things. Delaney, thank you very much for the question, and I appreciate your participation on the channel. Once again, my name's Aaron Boster, and thank you for learning about MS with me. Until my next live stream or my next video, Take care.